In Anthropology, you can build automated design processes to manufacture personalized products at a cost and quality comparable to mass production. We call this mass customization. This is very common in industries such as consumer and medical devices, where typically products have to be customized for the user. Anthropology lets you streamline reusable workflows and customize your existing products without compromising the original design intent. We can bring existing models into Anthop and turn them into editable geometry, optimize the design for its use case, and easily add complex geometry like lattices. Hello everyone, Yuki from Anthropology, and today I will show you how to mass customize a highly intricate medical device model like a prosthetic socket to be more patient specific. Let's dive right in. To start my mass customization workflow, I imported scan mesh data of a residual limb. By simply converting it into an implicit, which is Anthropology's native format, I can start creating geometry from it. I used a simple shell operation to generate my layers and a couple of boolean operations to clean it up. And I also pulled out the thickness parameter for each layer so I could easily change each layer's thickness at any point during my workflow. And now once I'm satisfied with my result, I can start working on them individually. Let's take a look at the first layer, the inner liner. It already fulfills the two main functions holding the prosthetic limb in place and cushioning the residual limb. And while I was doing some research on prosthetic limbs, I read an article about where sweat can get trapped, which can lead to the growth of pathogens and bacteria. And a good solution is to generate perforations to give the limb room to breathe. And on top, not only can you generate perforations normal to the surface, but you can also drive the placement and the size of these perforations around existing geometry, which in this case, I used the padding placed on the liner to drive those perforations. These perforations can be driven by point maps or simulation data. If you can identify where more sweat is being trapped, we can easily add more perforations in those regions and get a new design iteration of the liner with smartly placed perforations using field-driven design. Let's move on to the cushioning layer. To help with the cushioning, I can infill the layer with some lattices. And on top, we can take any geometry and infill the area with lattices in a rectangular, spherical, or cylindrical coordinate system. We can also make the lattices conform to the surface, which I did in this case. Once my lattices are complete, I notice they're currently uniform in thickness, but maybe I want to stiffen certain areas to have a compression and release area. I used the pads to drive my lattice thickness, so the lattices near the pads, I made them thicker, and the further away from the pads, I made them thinner. On the same topic of the lattices, we can also generate lattices on the surface of any bodies in Entop. Adding lattices or textures can help the socket improve its structural stability. Aesthetics play a role for sure, but the main goal here is to provide adequate support to the areas that need it, while reducing the weight of the socket to make it more ergonomic. We can thicken the lattices in areas with high stress or displacement and have them thinner in low stress or displacement areas. To wrap things up, we imported mesh and turned it into editable geometry, smartly placed points to create varying perforations, and made varying thickened lattices conform to the surface of the prosthetic socket. We are able to build an automated design process to manufacture personalized products, hopefully at a cost and quality comparable to mass production. And lastly, we streamlined reusable workflows and were able to customize our prosthetic socket without compromising the original design intent. These features I showed you in Entop enable the mass customization workflows to work well and keep the production costs low to match generic mass produced products. I hope you got a lot of insight into what Entop is capable of. Thank you, and I hope you learned something new today. If you think this would impact your design workflow, request a demo and talk to an Entop expert to optimize your design process. Lastly, if you like this video and want to see more, go to anthropology.com under resources and videos and check out all of our videos here. Thank you.